You may have heard of it. Cradle to cradle. Perhaps you're wondering, what is that? Well, here's an explanation. About 160,000 years ago, the first Homo sapiens started to evolve into who we are now, consumers. In 1804, Earth hosted one billion people. Now we have increased to over 6.7 billion, and every day around 200,000 people join us on this planet. In modern culture, we are surrounded by commercial products. Products that make our lives pleasurable and more convenient. So imagine there are 6.7 billion of us. This means mass production. Being able to produce all these products means we need resources, and lots of them. But there's a problem. During all these years, we've kept on using resources, but using without thinking of reusing has led to a potential problem. The time will come that there will be a resource scarcity sooner than most of us realize. And the other problem is waste. Most companies are still working with a take-make-waste industrial system. Carefully designed products are thrown away quicker than before. There's a clear need to react to these problems. Luckily, they are getting more and more attention from both companies and consumers. Two strategies can be indicated. Firstly, the strategy to minimize. Use fewer materials. Use less energy because of more energy efficient technologies. And with that, reduce the carbon footprint. But this still only postpones the moment resources will be exhausted. And despite reductions, with an increasing world population, volumes keep growing. You could say this current approach is known as reuse, reduce and recycle. And though this is a good start, it is only being less bad. Let me introduce strategy two. Rethink the way we make things and use materials effectively. This is not about being less bad, but about becoming 100% good by improving quality. We can start working from a vision where waste equals food. This is what Michael Brangart and William McDonough have developed and named Cradle to Cradle. So while a good start is to reduce the consumption of materials and stimulate recycling, and minimize the amount of energy used in a product life cycle, Cradle to Cradle is about keeping all materials in continuous cycles, stimulating the use of renewable energy only, and celebrating diversity. This requires a different design approach. The design of a product is optimized for its functionality, beauty, and quality to fulfill the need of a customer. But in addition, the design is thought through on how to disassemble it and how the used materials are valuable to nature or as resources for the production of new products. We need to know exactly what materials are being used. Because who wants their child to play with toys that are full of hazardous chemicals? In cradle-to-cradle -cradle design, every part of the product is designed with the intention of bringing it back in the technical cycle or biological cycle. Imagine that we no longer use materials but we borrow them instead. Then waste would no longer exist. Apart from thinking about materials, cradle-to-cradle -cradle design also considers two other important aspects. Firstly, stimulate the use of renewable energy only. Did you know that every day the sun radiates more energy than the world has used since time began? Using only renewable energy means we can use it endlessly. Secondly, celebrate diversity. Look around you. Look at nature as the best example of diversity. Flora and fauna adapt to local situations and make use of local resources. With cradle-to-cradle -cradle design, 
companies can differentiate with innovative products and make money with 100% good stuff designed for its functionality, beauty and quality. Also, they will profit from cost savings and added value. Who benefits? You. Because wouldn't it be great if our children and children's children can enjoy the same quality of life or better because we set good intentions and have redesigned the way we make things?